Man and the Orchard, part three. Here's the story so far. On the death of his father, Ben has inherited only a shabby cottage, an ox and ass, and an ancient apple orchard. And gradually he works hard to make improvements. All summer through, the animals were in the orchard grazing, manured the roots of every tree, the changes were amazing. No apples yet, but hope was there with summer sun and rain. The strength returned to roots and sap, the trees would bud again. For Ben was such a kindly man, he tended to those trees, touched them gently, spoke to them and whispered in the breeze, O oh, spirit of the apple tree, please bless these trees with vigour. So, when the spring returns again, their buds will grow much thicker. Ben was sure he heard a breath amongst the branches leafy. Remember us on Christmas Eve, and we'll reward you freely. Around the orchard, autumn winds were gusting, cold and shrill. Man and beast stayed close as they prepared for winter's chill. <laughs> 